Hello everyone, this one adventure here from Slacks to Cover bring you more rogues like us. We're back at it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna win. Last time we played, we took a wrong path somewhere. We were supposed to go not here, but end up over here in the autumn area, which I believe is the last place we need to go to to find a boss to enter. Uh, to open up the factory to where whatever the final, final boss is, or at least progress on. Maybe it's not the final boss, maybe it's just, you know, an inkling towards what's actually... I didn't know there's a fast travel. Inkling towards whatever in there is, but it does seem kind of final at this point, because it's, it's all building up to this. It would be kind of awkward if it all built up to a portal opening, and inside the portal there was, like, another build-up sequence to build up to another build-up. Yeah, it would get kind of weird... But, you know, the game has been challenging. It, it has its moments. Uh, if you are very careful about your environment and, and fast on the dodge, it's not too hazardous to your health. But I've actually read that there's been some people who complain about the difficulty on this game. And it's like, I... Dodging, man. If you don't dodge, if you just try to like move out of the way of enemies like this, you're not going to make it. it, it you, you can't. You, you have to. Have to. Remember your right click. And any time you're in a situation that you think you're going to take a hit, right click, point the other way, just go for it. Oh, hey, we already found the turtle boss. Does anyone else see that? This and this reminds you of Reboot. It's an old show. It's an old show off of Cartoon Network about uh, living inside uh, uh, the, the program's inside of a computer kind of thing, and the user technically being the bad guy, there's virus and stuff. Yeah, this is like the reboot symbol, I love it. Probably wasn't intended for that, but if it was... a hey, roguelike devs, um... Is it reboot? Come on, you can tell me. I, I won't tell. Well, I, 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 might, I might tell like, two or three hundred people that we have following us, but... It's in good, good gesture. Homages are alright with me. I do not have the money for this, not yet. Two more to go. Those poor apples. I'm sorry. Oh, actually, there... I didn't even see that. There was a quest guy over here. What do you want from me, quest guy? Oh, you want a shield? I can't help you with that. Alright. Boom. If I can get a shield, I'll go back to... The shield guy, maybe he'll give me a stat boost. I'd imagine they have the po possibility to give you that. If not, I know they give you things like cores and HP, which I don't really need the HP at the moment, but you never know. Sometimes, sometimes your abilities in this game change like the weather. You'll just enter a bad room, bad situation, a lot of shots, or a lot of uh, mobs that do tricky things, and <laughs> you'll get destroyed real fast. You want cores. Seven. I'll hold off for now. If I can get enough for the stat boost from town as well, we'll talk, buddy. We'll talk. I know I've mentioned this once before, but the ability to start and then leave, start your uh, slam and then cancel it out is an amazing thing. Thank you, devs. I hate being locked into animations. Because you never know in a game like this and requiring you to move a little bit faster when you need to just bolt out of a situation. And being locked in an animation is just, you're gonna get hit. It'll be curtains. Oh, that's a rock wall. I do enjoy this game, but I can't play it for that long because read, reading the map down here and, and trying to traverse through. It like sets my eyes all cross, <laughs> like cross-eyed and stuff. It, it's I don't know why, but my brain just can't handle it. All right, um, what was the map button again? Cause I'm a bit confuzzled. It wasn't tab. Was it M? Q? Q? There we go. It was Q. Hi, Q. So we've got two potential rooms. Two rooms and a mini brick wall. I'm going for 17 cores. That way I can pay off the my man over there. All right. Oh, why is it? that's one shotting things? Jeez. All right. Pay off my man and get the stat boost. 
we're lucky, maybe he'll give us a stat boost as well, and, you know, not a stat downgrade. We're not doing that again. I think it was episode 2 or episode 3 that uh, I just got like 3 or 4 attack downgrades. It, it, was, it was a mess. Okay. Extra HP. Don't need you. Let's swing over. Don't need the armor. However, if we're lucky... Give this guy his stuff. He'll give me an armor and then I can give it to that guy. And then we can just play, fe play fetch quest for a little bit. There we go! Free armor! Well, let me freeze that. An armor that just costs way more than uh, the, the shop could have actually wanted. Speed increase! Thank you, sir, for the stat increase! Much love, man, much love. Alright. An another speed. Yo, we're getting fast! I like it! Boss time! As of the recording of this, uh, it's National Turtle Day, so... I'm sorry, Mr. Turtle. It's your day... to die. Oh, that don't work out for you at all. You should've turned around a little bit more, buddy. Alright, weapon chest. Hard shell, Mr. Hard Shell's down. What was this again? A singular section of a shielding totem creates a small bubble shield around the player during combat. Need damage to break the shield. Let's take it. I mean, it's a one-time use thing. Uh, it'll recharge after a little while. But you know, one essentially, it's it's a, a piece of armor that regenerates, and it's amazing. But you know, if it if it happens later in, uh, two or three levels in, I might have something better by then. Oh, health increase too. Jeez, this is just the day of, of buffs and boons. Dash, dash, dash. Dash. All right. Battle room. Got nothing special so far. Not even, not even people asking for help. Oh, we got one of these rooms. The red one shooting stuff. If you could not, please, sir. I like the look at this bubble, though. Shiny. All right, what do we got in here? HP. I'm not gonna complain. I mean, armor would be a little bit more helpful, but still, we're not sure of what shrines are on this level, so there very well could be a sacrificial shrine. Oh no, armor. Darn. Uh, come here. Got a town. Tell me there's a Mr. Stat dude. Potion seller! Potion seller! 15 cores, almost. So an armor and HP sellers. We're good. There's no map dude, which. I. I like the map guy. He's good sometimes. Usually you have things you need to spend money on otherwise. The maps, but if it's in a tricky situation, like your HP's low and there's not enough going around, or you don't have enough cores for full HP, which you can usually buy like two two or three segments, it's nice just to have, look, son of a gun, that's a shield guy. We may come back to you and, and, and buy more cash in there, because that's just stat increases that we need. Oh, you're just, oh, you're not wearing red, you're wearing brown. If you banged up back there, please, if you healed me just a little. Six cores. Thanks, dude. And do you want cores? You're afraid if it could fall on Ventures, it could be better than yours. Oh, you don't want cores. 
You look like a man who has some cores. There's an invisible weapon over there. All right. First turn in. Slam cooldown decrease. I like it. Thank you. Weapon. Is this a flung? A, a wakazashi. We got this. I think this is unlocked recently. Fast, high damage, better than what we were using. Here's the boss. It's the uh, large stone golem thing. One of them. Seems to be mirrored versions of the bosses. Based on the locality you find them. I, I don't really mind reskins. It seems to be a tiny bit difference as far as how they attack, but nothing that makes them too standoutish. Oh, that's a that's a weapon in here. It's a white hander. Ah, uh, we'll see. Smack, 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 and dead. Come on, it's a white hander. I know it is. Bastard sword. Uh, that's a medium. Wait, bastard's a medium sword. Maybe it is. Higher crit, higher overall damage, lower cooldown. Uh, excuse me, higher cooldowns, higher. Than, uh, let's go without it for now. Wakazashi's fast, damaging, and it works for these beginning levels. You definitely want a little bit of a heavier weapon later on, um, if it's not. Anything higher than a green. Alrighty. It's 27. Not bad. Sent you down. Uh, what do we got? Got anything else we need to really run and check? Looks like there's... No? Oh, we got all the places. All the places have been found. We do need, however... We'll see. I can't get the third payout from the armor guy. Even if I bought all the armors available. Crit increase? By how much? How much has our crit increased? Certain... 5%! Not bad, went from 10% to 5%... 5% uh, to 10%. I am just now drinking my coffee. Pardon me if my brain's a little bit fried, because caffeine hasn't quite kicked in yet. Alright, do I have enough for this? Oh, I don't have enough for that! So, no! I don't get to get the second stat increase from the armor sacrifice. That's a shame. Well, top off our HP here, warp back over to the boss, and let's roll. Hello, Guardian. Yep, yeah. I like me now, buddy. Okay, this is the fire treads. Let's actually keep let's keep the shield for now. I'm gonna go this way. I feel like this might be the path. I wish there was a map system in this game. Cause last time I know if we go to the coast, we don't get the option to part again. I feel like this may be the way to go. I hope it is. If not, I'm sorry, and I've doomed us all. Slam dam increased, as well as, what is this? Rogue random? Crit increased. Nice! That should actually be putting us up to 50% crit chance with the Wakasashi. <laughs> Yo, you're fast. Weapon upgrade would be appreciated soon. 
just walked in here, I understand, but... keep kind of messing with me because yeah, you're new and it's it's weird zombie slimes Shots. Okay. Armor, we'll leave you there in case it's a sacrifice room. to the bomb until it was too late. Darn it. Okay, what is another HP? I'm actually kind of happy it doesn't let you grab two HPs at once. That we don't uh, overfill, so to speak. Weapon over there. Much, much needed weapon. Possibly. It's gotta be a better one I got, right? Scimitar? Ring Saber. Ooh, that DPS up. Uh, 85 blast damage. It's also blast stun, so we get a stun from our blast damage. Cooldown's a little higher and everything, but overall melee, much better. It's a little bit slower as well. It's a medium versus a light. What you want, man? Some health? Take it. Five cores? You know what? You might be buying... You might be putting my kids through college. I'm okay with that. Oh, didn't give me that time. Yes, yeah, sneaky sausage. There you go. Man, this map is huge. Potion seller? No, there's no potion seller. It's a map guy, but I don't really need that. Because we're just whipping our way through here. Um, excuse me? You're hiding! Construct scrapper. Out here looking for cores, you can save with like eight of them. Okay, what are we gonna give me? Give me an armor. Okay. Take it. It's not exactly what I was looking for. So we got two armors on the field. For you, Malachite Scimitar. It's a light sword, DPS is a little bit lower, blast damage but the same, and slam cooldown. Mm, overall, not as great as just keeping the one we got. Uh, 
No, no, we're gonna min max this the heck and back. With the two on the floor and the two goodbye, we could potentially have four armors. So if if there is a armor sacrifice shrine, we should be able to get the full amount of, of bonuses. If if it's here. If not, eh, we'll go in with extra armor. No downside to that. Yeah, spider. Spider. To me. Talk now. Come on. Alright. Show me what you got. Temp shield saved us there. A little bit of trap. Hassle. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, we're gonna get one. There is one room right there. Just go ahead and pick this up. We'll just be extra careful walking in. We'll see going in whether or not it's a it's a sacrifice room, because if they attack, it's not a sacrifice room. Hey, guess what? Not a sacrifice room. Ooh. Nailed it. How did you get over there so fast? Another armor? HP up? Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. I forgot, can you have more than one... more than three armors? You can. Can I have more than that? You can! That's new! I swear last time you couldn't have more than uh, like three armors or something. We have five out of six armors, which that revelation right there actually makes the Sapphire Amulet, the one that gives you armor occasionally, much, much more valuable. Cause I didn't know it can go up to six now. I may have to reconsider that. Manfold Combustor. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Actually, way to smack me in the butt. <laughs> I feel like even if you dash, just the direction that you're f coming from doesn't make that easy any easier. This one. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. I hate this one. Oh, I hate this one so bad. Jerk, you're just a big jerk. There we go. That's the one we want. Welcome to Autumn. Health and shield orbs not despair. I'm pretty sure this is the one we wanted. I could be incorrect on that. Rem remote hinterlands. I don't remember having done this in coming back to this playthrough. So I feel like this may be the right option. Oh my gosh, there's so many things trying to kill me. Alright. Man up, my friend. Man up. Let's go. Go, team! Oh god, there's so many things coming at me. Holy moly! HP. We're gonna leave that HP there for when we need it, which we 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 will need it. Oh, there's two HPs there. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna need it. 19 cores for stat boost. Slam down decrease. Thank you, sir. But your prices have gotten out of hand. 
This economy, I swear. I'm gonna take some dumb damage whacking through these guys because we have the HP and the armor to. Well, we have the HP to benefact. Just soak some of the stuff up. Need to find a better weapon. There's nothing but red mobs. Okay, let's use the environment to our advantage. What is this this rock? Why is there a rock there rotating around? I do not know this. But it kind of perplexes me. Oh, we got a better for worse. That may be a good thing, that might be a bad thing. Blast damage increase, crit decrease. Darn. Blast damage, I feel like we use a little bit more. Crit, of course, applies to about everything, so it's still a downgrade. But it's just the chance downgrade, like 5%. Is it a 5% decrease? I don't know. Um, yeah, 5%, because we're, we're down a little bit more. Man, that slam kill down. 25% though. Whew. Alright. Try not to hit any HPs on the way. We're saving those for when we really need them. Like I said, line up your shots. If you don't have too many blast shots, Getting them all in a straight line and hitting them through, piercing them all, is so much more effective. Of course, with blast, ow, with blast stun. Like I said, you know, said this earlier. You gotta always be dodging. Yeah, always be dodging. That's something I already had. Dash damage, though, is tempting. In fact, let's take it for the dash damage. Which means I can dash through people and hurt them. Or in this case, they hurt me, too, but... Yeah, don't, don't dash through slimes. It's not really gonna help you out much. We've got need of an HP. I need a hero. In fact, uh, let's see just how much is left of the map. Uh, two weapon areas. Boss is way over on one side. About six rooms left. Swing down here, far side. See what kind of weapon we got sent down here. Maybe it's legendary. Maybe it's one of the big. Big bad boys. Maybe it's a pole axe. Pole hammer with melee stun. I'm gonna take this one. Not because it's overall a better weapon. It kind of is, but it's a heavy pole arm. That's the downside. Oh, is it gonna get me in trouble? It might get me in trouble. I wanna know how melee stun works. I've not seen that on an item yet. Now, realistically, it should be every time I hit with a melee attack, it stuns them. Well, that doesn't appear to be the case. So we'll take whatever weapons over here. This is the Gambler, which means you might get something good, you might get something bad. Let's see. Damage greatly increased. I've never seen a greatly before. What are we talking about? 40%? What? Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't remember what it was earlier. If you guys watch it, want to go back and see what the last uh, stat look was. That's greatly just got to be amazing. 
Uh, Rose's Thorn, blast damage off the charts. Melee stun, I'm not really a huge fan of it. Doesn't seem like it'd be working. Um, cooldown on everything, this is definitely the one to go. Now, it is another heavy weapon, but we're getting most, most of our damage from the blasts. So, it kind of works out. And, uh, everything kind of works out. Oh. Yo. No. Okay. You guys, if you don't mind, I'm trying to kill you. Thank you for everything. Give me that. Give it. Give it. friends here. My axe, you, my impenetrable shield that recharges every round. We're good, we're good. Oh, what of you? Awesome! There are some of possums. Damage increased to where it was. What are we doing? We're doing 60.2 damage a shot. That's kind of crazy, even for a heavy pole arm. What's up? You missed. Now your life is forfeit. Alrighty, uh, one last room, and then we're good to roll. So. some HP just to top ourselves off and honestly we got the coins let's pick up some sh armor as well well we pick up a armor a armor a a Ron armor old joke or is the what are, what are the kids call them these days memes I'm Still getting into the concept of understanding that a joke is a meme, but a meme is not a joke. I. The world's a strange place. The internet's weird, okay? Could we, could we die here, do you think? I feel like I did decent damage to that. Put all my stuff on cooldowns, but, you know, it is what it is. Eh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh! No! You're not allowed to live! Yeah. My single attack is actually just off the hook. Oh! Shots. These are nuisances. Dang it! We got him. Problem solved. Ooh, you look new. New area indeed. Hmm. Now, we're going off the idea that I could earn armor faster than that, but that would help me if I could avoid some damage. Now we know they can charge up to 6, I can theoretically have 6 HP, 6 armor, 
and have 12 for the final boss. So let's go for it. Take the HP with me. Take it. Push it. Go in. Also, this obviously isn't broken over here, so... That one's kind of broken over here. Whatever. I'll just take my leap. Thank you. Bye. An ice area, eh? Bitter Mountains. In fact, it looks like there might be one place after that as well. Ooh, baby. I don't remember doing a, a snow area. Oh, this is always getting bad. Okay, for real. Could we not? The dance of me dying slowly. the environment around me when you can. No reason not to. There's nothing to, nothing says anywhere that you can't stand behind a wall and smack him with a long pole arm. It just doesn't say it. It might be a boss, considering we're in later stages. Just not. It's Boar's right hand, which isn't an upgrade at all. It's still a heavy sword. If it was like that damage plus medium sword, maybe. But it's not. to take out a few things. Like that, for instance, because that guy's going to be annoying and he's going to be the source of much injury. Okay, we've got a Healy right here. Armor, I'll take it just to buffer my existencies. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Batman! Oh, I'll hide over here. Nice. No! Sometimes the control of aiming is a little bit wonky. Oh, that looks like a big sword. Is that the legendary one? The legendary is unlocked. Also, are you a boss? The Piercer. Blast slow. 1.8. It is a heavy sword, so, you know, it's actually a little bit slower than Rose's Thorn. 133.7 damage, which is leech for those of you, so I don't know if they meant to do that. Blast damage is a little bit lower. Cooldown's higher. It, it's. It, slam damage is off the chain. Alright. Rocket. Oh. That is a very heavy weapon. All right, we're gonna be very, very careful with this one. However, wall. Oh! <laughs> we got some air time on that. That's great. Man, that is uh... That's a strong sword. Doesn't help that we have uh, plus 40% damage as well, so... Use the heavy sword, use the terrain to our advantage. I mean, let's be honest, if I was an actual person standing here and things were coming at me, I would totally swing my sword around the side and just kind of stab him a little bit. So, that's the way to fight in these games. Boss battle found. 
Looks like an ice version of the boar. Have we fought an ice version of the boar? I don't think we have. This is a challenge area. This is gonna get spicy. Slam dam, speed increased and slam cooldown decreased. Nothing really to hide against. So we just have to swing for the fences and play it safe. As soon as it hits, it makes contacts. We need to back up a little bit. Always keep your distance. Bomb, skadoosh. Oh, and we got a perfect on it. What we get? We got a die chest, some HP, and we're maxed armor actually, so cool. Nice. Give me your loot, sir! All of your loot. Another weapon. Hollow. Oh my gosh. Hollow that. 213. 213 blast damage? Are you kidding me? 12 second cooldown. 43 slam damage. Not that great. Weight full move speed. Weight 3, so it doesn't have much knockback. It, damage overall is about half of what we're doing, but the melee burn and burn slam. Aren't the strongest parts of the skill, so yeah, but duh, 213. That's amazing. Um, that's a hard hit, that, that's about double what we got. I'll pick it up just to see. Cooldown, oh, that cooldown. We can actually slam pretty quick with it, but piercer, man. We're getting, we're getting our, in our groove with the piercers, so let's keep rolling with it for now. Don't mess a good thing up, my friends. Found the camp. Potion cellar. I missed you. 22 cores. Blast cooldown decreased. Oh, you're making, you're making the hollow axe just that much better. Do you know what you're doing? Making my weapon not that great. Mm. Whoa. Ha ha! Your own bomb. When did you launch? I like the physics in this game. It's great. Slam cooldown decreased. Take page from the altar. Knowledge your strength, but new. You feel newfound power within you. Ow! Jerk! Come here. Money, 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 There we go. No! The money got away. Got. We've got uh, like two more rooms over here, which are worth checking out. Oh, you're an HP room. Sacrifice an HP. Sacrifice another HP. You know what? Sacrifice another HP. Actually, if I sacrifice three HP, I'll die, so maybe not that one. 
not quite. We do have 31. Five out of six means pick up sticks. Now, before I cash this in, was there a health seller in town? There is a health seller in town, so that means we can get two. Uh, he'll give, actually, he'll give me four health. I should build a afford both of them, actually. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Be at max power for the final boss. Actually, be exactly max, max power if I can. Can I, please? Game. Do. Thank you. Eleven cores. Sold. And armor. Kadoosh. Alright. Has all the rooms explored? Ready to go to boss. Let's go. Boar, you you don't you don't know what you're getting into. Look look at those stat percents, man. That's insane. Insanity. It's a new move. I can't dab at you when you're uh, doing. Oh. One more hit and you're done, son. Like now. Goodbye. This is the one that makes it a large counterweight, so uh, makes your sword bigger, which I kind of want to see. Oh my god, that, 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 that is a huge sword. But it's, it's too much of a good thing to have the armor. Looks like we're in some sort of crazy castle now. Dare I say it, we may be getting close to wrapping this one up. The Veiled Stronghold! This is gonna be dangerous and deadly, crazy and awesome, and we're pretty far from town, so... Hardest foes? Some of the hardest foes? We got a shield giver. Blast cooldown. Crit increase. We need three shield to come back and give them the rest. I don't know what you are, Watcher Stone. Don't you worry me. Couple hits thanks to the crazy laser dude. Yeah, oh, almost, almost, almost sometimes monsters. Oop, don't run straight from that guy, he'll catch up. Whoa. Yo, you actually attack! I didn't know that. Now I do, but uh, hey, you attack, so you're a little, you're a little, you're a lot scarier now than I thought you were. The uh, crystal spider has run away. I don't know if there's going to be a camp, because that wouldn't make sense, but... Hey, look, a camp! 26 cores for stat increase. There's got, uh, we've got HP here. The weapons are stacked, the ballistas loaded, but what happened to the people entrenched here? I do not know, Mr. Ned, I do not know.
too. Alright, uh, it's 22 cores I believe you wanted. There's a boss here, but this is gonna be a boss. Now it's a lecture and a letter opener, which... Eh, you know, we already got the best weapon we could possibly get, I think, with the style that we're playing with today. So there's no reason to uh, s switch it up. Especially not this late in the game. Hey, better, better. And oh, foul ball. Get the guy. Oh. Hey, mister. Doors open, doors open. Nice. Oh. I need all the help I can get. Actually, what do you got here for me? Another note! Take it. Slam cooldown decreased. Oh, babe. I think that might be a full heal, or at least HP or something. I'm not entirely sure. Every time I've picked it up, I've had HP. Uh, what is our cooldown at? 55%. 8.1 seconds of slam cooldown for a hard slam. That's, that's awesome. Also, we have Blast Slow. I should be using that for more situations than just finishing things off, but I, I hit them so hard, it, it, it's kind of hard to get them a slow when they're a dead. That, that's the best slow. Best slow is dead. We, we've, we've confirmed this. I do like it when you swing your sword. If you just let it set, he just holds the position for a second. Like, yeah, check this out. Okay, got this, another shield. Except this guy needs a shield. <sighs> Fine. Gonna give me HP. That's. Mm -hmm. You better have a shield. You have an HP! I need a shield. I gotta donate. To the, the Give a Shield Fund. Mm, one more, possibly two more battle areas. <laughs> ah. Darn it. Well, we may not be hitting max shield. I like it. There's still stuff raining from the sky. That's when you know you hit hard. <laughs> Dang it! All the armor's gone. Oh, yay, we got one. Kudos. Now we need two. Don't remember if the shop sells them. Um, but even the shop did sell. I would have to buy two armors. And I'm buying a stat boost for 26. So damage increase. What are we setting at? 45%. Hold up. Uh, 130.5 damage per shot. Who needs 260 blast damage? When you can just swing your sword and do 130 damage. Yeah, that, that that's a thing. There is no shield guy here. It's unfortunate considering... Uh, roll the bones. Come on, Lady Luck. You've been paying out for us so far. Give me... Show me what you got. Oh! Oh, Lady Luck, I love you. Don't tell my wife that. More HP. It, it's like 
Here's you're lucky, and not at the same time, but have an armor chest. That's not the armor I was looking for, game. Little bit armor, little bit different. Come on! Still holding on to one armor with for dear life. Got a weapon node, which possibly a boss fight. Nope, reforged cleaver. Not a boss fight. Not yet. All right. Uh, you might have. Do you have two armors? Oh. Excuse me, do you have three armors? Oh! No one clipped that, please. Oh, darn it. I thought we got armor just from killing something. I was like, oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. We got all the armor. We're... Downsides. Downsides to the life. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Just, we just smack him. Oh, he's got shooty things. Walk into my blade, sir. No armor. Come on. What is this? Oh, it's just a dark, dark iron great axe. Who cares about you, great axe? You're not that great after all. That's another. That's another battle room. Gee. No, why? Oh, well. This, this, this is a pipe dream. We're not gonna get. Watch me earn one. Watch me earn an armor. And that's our that's our leave right there and we've we've cleared we've cleared everything else so much HP on the floor nothing that we need son of a gun giant dice dude revolving overseer Maybe I have fought you before ow ow for real now become a mob fighting room with a laser that keeps trying to chase me down okay the fact that you guys can get me regardless of what I'm doing is really freaking annoying don't you don't you do it don't you do it don't you do it revolving overseer veiled stronghold enchantment chest Gotten. And that gives us one, one res, right? I'm kind of tempted to take it at this point, but no. We've been holding on with what we got. Let's go with it. Going to the factory. Is that the last one? Uh oh, I hear a shiny shine. 
That's the uh, original one. If you haven't read that, then feel free to pause and read it here. Ready to rock and roll? Let's go. Loading. Final zone. Final countdown. Deleted. I don't know what these are. I wanna smack it. Oh, hello. I regret smacking that one. I deeply regret smack. That's a big construct. Hi. You're not what I thought you were. Ooh, buddy. How does one smack you? How does one smack you? Okay, can't smack that. Is it, it's one of those, oh, there we go. Excuse me. Oh, platforming, platforming. Excuse me? I'm kind of confused. I can't hurt your hands. Ow. But you can touch me and hurt me. Let's try this again. Are you gonna go all... Alright. If you could, thank you for your movement. And that's my... One sec, sorry, I forgot to always forget to. I need to turn that alarm off, really. Okay. So we almost killed that guy in. Well, we could have killed him in two two rounds, but. I at least understand it. This game is very prone on. Ow, dodging. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're you're so helpful. And that's possibly one of four down. Hey, it's a big boo. Was that it? There was more things on the sides. I thought that maybe. Oh man, I, there was more things around the sides and I, that was just the first place I saw because I saw something glowy and I went, ooh, shiny. Well, I'll be danged. Has a lot of Kickstarters. That's awesome. Oh, hey, we're on the list for th special thanks. Oh, sweet. Slack is in the cover. Man, this must be all the people who, uh, I guess, shared and stuff when you guys were in, uh, in early access. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you for the game. I mean, uh, this has been a blast. It's, it's been such a fun game. And there's still so much more to unlock. Hey, check that out.
I like the little trophy. What are the little trophies of all the uh, the bosses and stuff on there? That's sweet. I don't think I've actually been the tavern, though. I know there is a tavern. So many places I haven't actually been to in the game. Game. May I continue? Thank you. Victory acquired. Bouncers, automaton, slimes, augers, chargers, special. Yo, we defeated all the bosses. I want to open the loot. How about you? Also, Piercer is awesome, especially when you get a lot of damage in increases. I mean, we were doing just... I don't think it was 100% intended or expected for us to have that much damage at the end. Because we just went through that guy in... We, we, we could have gone through that guy, and we did go through that guy, the final boss, in two cycles. That is a really, really short amount of time. But bosses defeat a heart shield giant, overgrown sentinel, manifold combustor, wasteland, dynamo, wintry, dredge, revolving overseer, partner for the burp, and the adjunctator. Let's see what we get. Town looks kind of the same. I was kind of hoping for a big shiny town or, you know, a big uh, plaque on the wall saying, You win! He's the savior of our world. Thank you. Eh, you know, I, I'd be ha I'd, I'd, I'll take a beer, you know, from the tavern. Just give me that, I'm happy. Cephalopods embrace. Oh, that's cool. It's a crab. Crab sword. Well, as... Great anchor! <laughs> One big anchor. I love it. What are the ones we got? We got armor boxes. Amphibious gauntlets. Sea plate spouters. And... Tricorn Helmet plus Amphibious Helmet. That looks like a... Is they supposed to be a frog? I like it. I may, I may, I may do that. Froggy Helmet. We got one die box. Oh, excuse me. A chain box. Thorns cannot be found on weapons of the world. I believe that's uh, when you take damage, they take damage. And two die boxes. Red die and... A split. Pesto and Buccaneer. Interesting. Pesto die. <laughs> what color is your armor when you go into battle? It is the color of pesto. The same as my lunch. Alright. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's check out the armor real quick and then head over the tavern. That apparently there's a tavern. Also, I have 18 cores. I may actually... Yeah, let me just buy... Buy some stoof. You, you're not... Wait, you can't, you're a can I talk to Charlie, so I've made my decision. I'm gonna head home back to Mayfin. I'm not sure how my family's done some time to cool down, so they'll be welcoming me back with open arms. Besides, the princess places with this kingdom. I just need to decide when to leave and what to pack. Hmm, this may take a moment. Awesome. Right, how many how many weapon boxes we got? We got six cores. I feel like Don't trade. Enchantment boxes are probably four cores per enchantment. How many more enchantments do we have? Probably quite a few, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's just trade in, and then a core, bam, we got some stuff to unlock. Wouldn't mind getting all the, uh, the armors unlocked. Beyond Gone Helmet, that actually looks pretty cool. And, Sea Plate Helmet, which is just a big spiky shell on your head. Spiky shell head. Got melee slow as well. Alright, uh, swing by the armor, see if there's any other sets we can put together. I'd like to think that maybe we can. Okay, we got, see, set bonus, speed buff, polar master, slam damage master. Beyond Gun gives us health buff and armor. C buff is cooldown buff and ability master. And the Buccaneer Trihorn is none. So I guess if you just want to be the best pirate you can be without being a master of anything. We got you. There's my bucket helm that I had from, from early access. Hmm. What do we actually have access to? Uh, not much. We probably have a Beyond Gone set. Health buff plus armor. Greater speed buff for nightmare gauntlets. Which I only have the one piece. 
Got a couple amphibious pieces. That's, uh... Two pieces. Three pieces. Yeah. Oh, it's a big frog. I like it. What's the, uh... It was speed buff? Cooldown buff. Can, can we be, uh... Amphibious man? Does he play gauntlets? I don't have any of that. I have... Crusader Greaves. Well, those are fancy. Uh, let's do... That's two, but they look cool. Oh, okay. Let's do this, and then, uh, do I have a Crusader? Anything Crusader-ish? I do not. Hmm, decisions. How about this? We just beat the game. Let's go back and just make our guy look cool. Frog Helmet wins, though. Definitely. Let's see, Rowan and Spalders. That definitely looks a frog thing. Frog armor, definitely. Amphibious? Eh, yeah, not so much a nightmare. Maybe. Let's go with nightmare. And then, uh, I kind of like the Crusader. So, I don't think we're getting any set bonuses right now. But screw it. We look cool. Fashion souls is best souls. Get our die on. You know me, I, I want to go all silver. Which kind of doesn't work. But maybe it does. Hmm. Red isn't that red, unfortunately. It doesn't seem like that dark. Purple's kind of nice. Buccaneer is a little bit brown, honestly. Oh, that's for the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that that actually looks kind of nice. I I can dig that. Um, let's switch this out to like silver. Hmm, maybe a dark gray. Red. Actually, that 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 blends it all well together, doesn't it? It's kind of the shadow, though. I, I, I like this. This I can do. Um, let's... What about this being purple? Ah, decisions, man. Decisions. The, the, the oddest and weirdest decisions. That does kind of bring it back to being a mecha frog. Let's keep it mecha frog. White. White through the center. White through the eyes. Maybe we can make him pesto? Yellow across the board. I kind of like this. I like it. Let's, let's let's keep it like this. We got Mecha Frog. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Thank you everyone for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. For more news and information on what's going on and what may be, check out the information below. If you like what you saw and want to see more like it, slap the like button, bash the subscribe button, and share the video. Have another adventure, right? You know a lot of you have been great for business. Not really repeat customers. Unless something get scared off or worse. Yeah, name's Frank, by the way. Hi, Frank. I've done a lot for this town. I've just not met you. I'd have to jump my ship. My stock is paying the transport. I understand, my friend. He's drunk. He's had a bad day. Anyway, this is Dust Bunny Avengers Sani off of now. I was going to say something else other than make sure to check out Rogues Like Us. Um, I know this is like, what, third, fourth episode going in, and it looks like, like, oh, it's four episodes in, you've already beat the game. And to be fair, I have done content on this video, on this game before, uh, there's like, I want to say six or seven episodes on the channel, I played a little bit off screen, you know, both before recording then and before recording now, I have, you know, a decent amount of time, I want to say I probably have about 20 hours in the game, and you know what? It's a fun game. It's got a lot of replayability. You can try different builds on your own. You can unlock a whole bunch of stuff. If you're going for a completionist, if you're a completionist type of person, you can unlock everything. And, yeah, it, it's a good time. At least check it out. But this is Just Money signing off.
Till next time, folks. Later underground!